Does your game feel slow even though your PC is good? Many people get lag, stutters, or low FPS, not because of their graphics card, but because their processor isn't working as fast as it should. Windows has some hidden settings that slow down your CPU without you even knowing. The good part is, you can fix this easily. In this video, I'll show you some simple but powerful changes that will make your processor faster and improve your gaming performance without upgrading anything. What's ready to be the lag and high ping while you play games? So guys, you need gear up booster this is the ultimate tool to lower your ping boost stability and give you zero lag pro players like asian jeff and polarized use it to stay ahead so why not you download gear up booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match the first and most critical step in optimizing your processor for gaming is to unlock its full potential by tweaking how windows manages your cpu cores by default, Windows may park or throttle some of your CPU cores to save power, especially on laptops or power-saving desktop modes. This behavior can cause inconsistent performance, lag spikes, and lower frame rates in games that require fast and full CPU response. In this step, we're going to change two key registry values that control the minimum and maximum core parking limits. By forcing Windows to keep all CPU cores active and ready at all times, you eliminate unnecessary delays in processing, improve multitasking while gaming, and significantly reduce input lag and micro stutters, especially in CPU heavy games like CS2, Fortnite, and Warzone. To begin, open the Windows search bar and type Registry Editor, then right click and run it as an administrator. When the editor opens, paste the exact registry path provided in the video description into the address bar and hit enter. This will take you directly to the core parking configuration area. First, locate the registry entry named Max. This controls the maximum processor state. Right click on it, select modify and set the value data to 64 in hexadecimal, which tells Windows always to allow full CPU power, 100%. Click OK to apply, then find the min entry, right click and modify its value to zero, also in hexadecimal. This ensures your CPU won't park any cores, even at low load, keeping all threads active and ready to handle game workloads instantly. These changes result in faster response times, smoother gameplay and better overall performance, especially useful on mid and low end systems where CPU resources are more limited. Step 2. Disable unnecessary background services to free up CPU power. The second step in optimizing your processor for gaming is to disable unnecessary background Windows services that constantly consume CPU power, even when you're not using them. These services are designed to improve the general user experience by preloading apps or indexing files for quicker access. However, in a gaming environment, they often backfire by creating unnecessary background CPU activity, which leads to frame drops, stutters, and delayed responses during intense gameplay. By turning them off, you're freeing up valuable processing power that your system can redirect entirely toward your game, improving both performance and consistency, especially on systems with limited cores or older CPUs. To get started, open the Windows search bar and type Services, then click on the Services app from the results. This will open a list of all background services running on your PC. Scroll down and locate the one called SysMain, which may also appear as Superfetch on older Windows versions. Although it's meant to improve app launch times by preloading frequently used apps, it often causes constant disk and CPU usage in the background. Right click on it, select properties, and in the window that appears, set the startup type to disabled. Then click stop if it's running and hit OK to apply the changes. Next, scroll again and find the Windows Search service. This constantly indexes your files to speed up search results, but during gaming sessions, it can randomly spike CPU usage, causing stutters and slower performance. Just like before, right click on it, go to properties, set the startup type to disabled and hit stop if needed. Then click OK to finalize the change. With these two services turned off, your CPU now has fewer background tasks to handle, resulting in smoother gameplay, faster load times, 
and improved system responsiveness while gaming. Step three, apply custom tweaks with the CPU optimization pack. The third step is boosting your CPU for gaming involves using my custom CPU optimization pack, which includes advanced tools and presets that instantly apply performance focused tweaks to your system. To get started, head over to uptopacks.com. You'll find the direct link in the video description. On the homepage, click the FPS Boost tab from the top menu. Scroll through the listed packs until you see the thumbnail and title that match this video. Once you spot it, simply click it and the download will start right away without any waiting. After downloading, open the folder and navigate to the section named CPU Priority. Inside, you'll see two subfolders, one labeled for Intel and another for AMD. Choose the folder that matches your processor. If you're using an Intel CPU, go ahead and open the Intel folder and run the included registry file. AMD users should open their respective folders and do the same. These registry tweaks prioritize game processes, helping your system assign more CPU resources where they're needed most. The next step is to open the CPU optimization folder inside the downloaded pack. This folder contains multiple carefully prepared files that are designed to apply deep level CPU adjustments, including scheduler tweaks, priority handling, and system response improvements. These tweaks work together to reduce input delay, improve frame stability, and make your processor more responsive to real-time gaming demands. It's important to install these files one by one, following the on-screen instructions exactly as shown. Each installer will apply a different tweak. Next, install the quick CPU tool included in the pack. Once the installation finishes, the software will launch automatically. This tool gives you full control over hidden CPU behaviors that Windows doesn't let you manage easily. The first thing you'll want to do is select the ultimate performance power plan from the drop-down menu. This ensures your processor is not limited by any power saving policies, allowing it to run at maximum capability at all times. Selecting this power plan alone can lead to smoother gameplay and noticeable FPS improvements. After setting the power plan, scroll down to configure the core CPU behaviors. Set core parking to 100%. This keeps all CPU cores active and prevents Windows from parking any of them to save power. Then, set performance to 100%, forcing your CPU to operate at full speed without throttling. Set frequency scaling to 100% to lock in your CPU's maximum frequency during gameplay. Lastly, set turbo boost to 100%, which lets your processor dynamically boost its clock speed for extra performance when needed. Once these values are set, click apply, then hit OK to save everything. Now move to the Advanced CPU Settings tab, which is also available inside Quick CPU. Here, enable Turbo Boost if it's not already active. Also, turn on Enhanced Intel Speed Step Technology, EIST, which improves power delivery without affecting performance. Finally, enable all options under Turbo Power Limits to give your CPU the freedom to draw extra power under load, improving stability and frame pacing during heavy gameplay sessions. After you've enabled all of these, close Quick CPU. It will keep running these optimizations in the background. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game it will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. 
This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 4. Unlock full CPU core usage for maximum performance. This step is a powerful system level tweak that ensures your CPU is using all of its available cores and threads to handle gaming tasks more efficiently. By default, Windows may not always allocate the full processing potential of your CPU, especially if the system has been upgraded, reinstalled, or hasn't been optimized before. This can limit performance in modern games that rely heavily on multi-threaded workloads, resulting in frame drops, slow responsiveness, or underutilization of your processor. With this tweak, we'll manually force Windows to recognize and use the maximum number of cores your CPU offers, which can lead to noticeably smoother gameplay and better multitasking in the background. Start by opening the Windows search bar and typing System Configuration, then click on the result to open the Settings window. In the System Configuration panel, switch over to the Boot tab at the top, and then click the Advanced Options button. A new window will appear with several advanced boot settings. Here, check the box labeled Number of Processors. This option lets you manually choose how many CPU cores Windows should use during boot and operation. Once checked, click on the drop down menu and select the highest number available. For instance, if your system shows 4, 6, 8, or even 16 cores, always select the highest value listed. This ensures Windows doesn't limit your CPU's processing threads, which helps the system deliver maximum performance during gaming or any other CPU-intensive tasks. After selecting the top number, click OK, then back in the main window, click Apply, and again OK to close everything. Step 5. Prioritize CPU power and disable visual effects for smoother gaming. Now it's time to further enhance system performance by adjusting how your CPU allocates its resources and reducing unnecessary visual effects. This step ensures that your system stays focused on delivering power where it's needed most, your games and active applications, rather than wasting resources on background tasks or flashy animations. These adjustments are especially useful for gamers aiming for stable FPS, faster load times, and reduced latency without sacrificing too much of the system's usability. Start by opening the Windows search bar and typing Advanced System Settings, then click to open it. In the window that appears, go to the Advanced tab, and under the Performance section, click the Settings button. This will open the Performance Options window. First, switch to the Advanced tab inside that window. Here, you'll find a setting that controls how your processor allocates system resources. Make sure it's set to Programs rather than Background Services. This tells Windows to prioritize processing power for the applications you're actively using, like your games or streaming software, rather than wasting performance on background services that don't impact gameplay. Selecting programs ensures that your system directs maximum CPU performance to the game you're playing in real time. Next, click on the Visual Effects tab at the top of the same window. Choose the option that says Adjust for Best Performance. This disables a variety of unnecessary animations and UI effects that can slow down your system and consume memory and CPU resources. Disabling these effects frees up system power for what really matters, your game. However, if you want to maintain a bit of usability and visual clarity, you can selectively enable a few key options after choosing Adjust for Best Performance. Recommended settings to keep turned on include Animate windows when minimizing and maximizing for smooth window transitions. Show thumbnails instead of icons to easily preview files in File Explorer. Smooth edges of screen fonts to make text more readable. After reviewing your selections, click Apply, then OK to save the changes. This visual and CPU prioritization tweak significantly improves system responsiveness, allowing your games and key applications to perform better while reducing background clutter and unnecessary graphical load. Step 6. Disable core isolation for extra CPU performance. Another useful tweak to boost CPU performance, especially on mid-range or older systems, is disabling a Windows security feature called Core Isolation. 
This feature is part of Windows Defender and uses virtualization to protect your system from advanced threats like malware and malicious drivers. While that sounds good in theory, the downside is that it consumes a noticeable amount of CPU resources, which can negatively affect in-game performance. If you're gaming on a system where every bit of CPU power counts, disabling core isolation can lead to smoother gameplay, more stable frame rates, and even a slight FPS boost, particularly in CPU heavy titles. To turn it off, open the Windows search bar and type Core Isolation, then click on the matching result. This will open the Core Isolation settings under Windows Security. Once inside, you'll see a setting called Memory Integrity. If it's turned on, click the switch to turn it off. Windows may prompt you to restart your PC. Go ahead and do so, as the changes won't take effect until after a reboot. However, it's important to understand the trade-off. Disabling core isolation will lower your system's defense against certain types of malware. So while this tweak can improve performance, make sure your PC is well protected in other ways. So that wraps up today's video guys. If you found this helpful and your FPS got a solid boost, don't forget to hit that like button. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.